I have lost weight. I've got a tin of Spam. Spam in blankets with cheese. Look, 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 at, look, at, look, 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 look. Hey. Better than yes, the dog hairs have been getting thicker and thicker, so I was going to buy this. And white and noisy. Right, we've got a few things going on and a few things to do. So, you've been out this morning, I've been doing the garden, and I've got somebody who's going to come and collect the plant pots. The greenhouse pots, the bags of compost, and the storage unit, and possibly some other things. And I put them on free cycle, so I had seven or eight people get in touch. So I waited for them to come in overnight. Anyway, a school got in touch, a local school for the they've got an allotment society. So I opted for the allotment society. And I made a cut down of all that sender. Look at that there. You're not impressed by that. Hey? Right, and so I made a Christmas box. Here, lift, lift the Christmas box up here with something on. So we can put the little Christmas crackers in there. So when we pull a cracker a day or two, we can put some crackers in. And because there isn't a challenge, I found some truth or dare challenges. So we can do a truth or dare. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Sandra to go through these and make sure there's none that are too risky. There's not so much that, Neil, but... I can't remember what I did last year. It looked like it's like... What have you ever done? It's like, I can't remember. <laughs> well, what we'll do, we'll, what we'll do, we'll, 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 we'll have an experiment. So these will be folded up, so the minute they're not folded up. Right, so go, 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 we'll have an experiment. Go on, choose, check on, go on pick, pick one. And if it's too risky, we'll edit it. We'll bleep it out. Hang on. And then and then what we can do, we can do a truth or dare. So what, what, what have you got? It says, what's the weirdest thing you've ever done on a plane? I don't know what mine is. What's yours? I haven't done anything weird on a plane. Like, who does weird things on a plane? That's weird. I had a really weird experience on a plane. Really bad. Nearly delayed the flight taking off. I've even got the captain coming over the tunnel. What happened to me? That's about typical, isn't it? No, not really, because we'd, it was pre-flight. We were on the runway. There was a delay in the flight going off. I had a couple of pints... Obviously, in departures, like you do. I can't remember if it was business or pleasure. I can't remember. I'm sure it's British Airways. And then I needed a wee. And so I said to the stewardess who's walking up and down, am I all right just to go and have a quick wee before we take off? She said, yeah, because we've got a 20-minute delay. So I went in, I had my wee, op tried to pull the door, and the door wouldn't open. And I was like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Because obviously we knew, I'm now on, we're now ready to taxi and take off and all that and what actually happened was the ceiling something of the ceiling like it's like a false ceiling had come in and had went to the top of the door and i got a stewardesses outside and me banging outside and i go that you won't open and then some man come up and, and go you need to feel around the door and anyway we found this thing that could come off and that happened to me that was really embarrassing and when i come out everybody's going look at this in there So, yeah. <laughs> Stuck in a toilet on a plane on the runway before we even took, before we'd even took off. Right. I've anyway. Got, I've got an invention. No. I'm gonna, I'm, I, I have got a cre creative, brand new, and as far as I know, and I've Googled this, and I've gone on YouTube, as far as I know, we're going to come up with something. I'm quickly going to cook for a latest lunch that is completely... A first. I've got streaky bacon. No, we never have lunch. Not yeah. when you're involved. Right, on, the, on the previous video, I said to you, what have I cooked for you for the last previous two weeks for your lunch? And you went, don't know. I've done your fried egg sandwiches. So, can, can well, you... Traditionally, for 18 years, we've never had lunch. Well, that you was 18 years. Let me starve. This is, this is winter 2023, house move year. You've had lunches for two weeks running. This is going to be your third week. <laughs> Next time we'd be complaining and putting on weight. Go on. Uh, I've lost weight. I've got a tin of spam and I've got some cheese and I've got a frying pan. So I am going to try and possibly video myself with what I'm going to 
create because as far as I know, this is a unique, brand new, never been done before, and you want crispy, streaky bacon whilst I crack on. Please. So I have some homework to do, if that's okay. Fine and Andy, you crack on with your homework and I'm going to crack on with this brand new so, idea. I have created, or I'm going to create, and, and as far as I know, nobody in the world has ever done this. I have searched high and low. So you can get tins, sorry, an empty tin of Spam. You can get tins now of cheesy Spam and they are really, really, really nice. They're quite hard to get hold of, cheesy Spam. But what I'm gonna create, and, and this is, I'm positive this is gonna work, is gonna be Spam in blankets with cheese. Cheesy Spam in blankets. And I've been thinking, shall I fry? Shall I grill or shall I bake? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this one also a cholesterol booster. So this is going to be not particularly healthy, but I am going to fry. Um, because they say Sandra likes her bacon quite crispy, so we'll do that. So what we're going to do, we're prepping up. I've got some spam I've just sliced. I've got some cheese I've just cut off. This is, in case you're wondering what I've got, this is just British mature coloured cheddar. And I'm going to get some streaky bacon okay. out. So, what we're going to do, I'm just going to grab two pieces of streaky bacon, like that. And I'm now going to place the piece of Spam into here. A bit of extra cheese. And I'm going to give it a roll and a roll. Look at that, look, this is, this is, isn't this exciting? So again, I'm gonna do two of these. This would be brilliant. You could have this on a piece of bread or with a fried egg or something like that. I'm gonna put that into there, there's an extra bit of cheese. And I'm gonna give it a roll. And I'm gonna give it a roll. And just want that bit, bit of cheese to be covered up. Let's put that there. Let's pull that one over there. Look at them, 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 look at them. And yes, before anybody asks, have I washed my hands? Yes, I have. I've just been doing washing up and putting, uh, sorry, and drying. But look, 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 look. Isn't this exciting? This is, uh, this is a world premiere of cheesy spam in blankets. This is, this, this is the future. Okay, so I'm starting cheese slice down. Bit of bacon, nice and crispy. Oh, listen to the sizzle of this cooking. Right, so Sandra wants her bacon nice and crispy, so I'm probably going to just time lapse this now because you don't really see it all cooking. But basically, we're going to do the one side and then the other side, and all being well, this is going to come out absolutely gorgeous. We'll be back shortly, so let's just watch some of this cooking. Just 
got no idea how lucky she is to have me. Just look at this. Look, 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 at, look, at, look, look, look at this. So it's super crispy bacon. And I'll be well. That will get Sandra's sign of approval. And what I'll do is I'll say I've got two there. And I'm going to give Sandra the choice. It's, it's a world premiere. It's never been done before. Look, look, lift it up, lift it up to the camera. Look at that, look, look, look. Is that crispy enough bacon for you? It's not in shot, dear. That's better. Hey? Better than yesterday. We're better than any trial attempt, yeah. Yeah, how's that? Should we try one and find out? I'm going to. Which one are you going to have? This looks the crispiest. You're going to have the crispier one. I've, I've even put a knife and fork out for you. Thank you. I'm going to need a bit of bread with mine, please. That's okay. We've got some bread there, or I've got a French stick there. Um, I'm going to dive into this. Let's just do the... The full view of this, that's the undersides of it, it's all crispy. All the cheese is taken in. Look how cheese, look, look at this here. If you just cut it in half, oh. Look at, look, 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 look. Look at that. Oh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be fantastic for my cholesterol, Sandra. Mm. Oh, look, look, look. You sound like my mum, you? Oh, look out there. Right, so, as they say, there's the Spam, the cheese and the bacon, and as they say, the proof is in the eating. Three sensations going off there. That bacon is really nice. It's very, it's a lovely bacon. You then get the kick of the spam, and then the cheese comes in. Oh, you, you, you're on a. Um, how's that? How's it going? That dread. Cut yourself a piece off, Sandra. Let's have a little piece. Let's see how we. Um, it's kind of. I'm getting a strong spam taste mainly. Yeah, let's try a bit more cheese with it. Right, go on. How's... Mm. How's that? I'm glad you're enjoying it, but it's not for me, I'll be honest. It's Why very not? salty. That's the bacon, isn't it? There's a cut down on my salt a lot, so everything tastes very salty if it's got, yeah. So Spam is, it's got its own unique taste, but obviously the, the, the bacon is well cured. It's a really um, um, strong bacon, that. But let me get into this a little bit more because I'm enjoying this. No, I've got a thumb. It's definitely getting a thumbs up from me. It's definitely. Mm. But I like, um, I, love, I love fry spam anyway, so. Mmm. Anyway, there is one good thing, Sandra. I do like fried spam. You'll stick to fry spam next time. Thank you anyway. <laughs> there is one good thing as well, Sandra. I've done your dinner again for you. Three weeks running. No idea how lucky you are to have me. Thank you, thank you. You've never done as much vacuuming in your entire life than you have with this flipping Hoover that we're reviewing. What dog, on earth? Look, the dog hairs are gone, Neil. The dog hairs are gone. Look at that. You're not right, impressed. I, I am impressed. But so we've just done a product review on a, a vacuum cleaner. And so, <laughs> which is now finished. I'm not too sure whether when 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 you're going to see this review. But this this is quite remarkable, isn't it? You've got a bit carried away, haven't you? <laughs> Neil, how many weeks have you been home? Three. And I've been waiting, hoping with all this spare time that you've got. But no, the, the dog hairs have been getting thicker and thicker. So I was going to vacuum this weekend anyway. So we have a, our, our normal Hoover is a, is a Henry in, in this cupboard here. So I, I did vacuum it. I did do here. This, this, 
this week. I've just done the living room before with Henry. Well, the Henry's not very good on the doggers. That's why I miss my melee. But we did have a dog. But you've, you've now got, what's this called? The green note. You've now got a green note. And back in the nurseries, you've got an even, an, an, an even another one to choose from. That's it. That seriously is good, isn't it? Yeah, there's not even that much hair stuck around this. A little bit. It's not too bad compared to what they can get like. So. Yeah. Look at that. That's going to be the best Christmas present you've ever had, isn't it? Generally not, a, not a, generally not a good idea to give the wife a vacuum cleaner for Christmas, do you? Why not? That's it's wonderful. Patronising. It's, it's brand new. Vacuum cleaner. You've got two vacuum cleaners for Christmas. Well, one, one you're not going to be able to open up. You can have the other one for your birthday. And you've got something else. I can't, I can't I, we can wait to see the next product review we're going to be doing. Might have to do that tomorrow. Just wait till you see it. You can have that for Christmas as well. You're going to be really excited. <laughs> You're getting very carried away with this, aren't you? It is good, though, isn't it? Well, I know you were complaining, but he thought I'd broken it. Well, you'll, you'll probably wait for the main review, but he thought I'd broken it or I was doing something wrong, but it is designed in quite a clever way, which I like. But so it's not great for filming. So it does the suck only when you're going forward and when you pull it back the motor disengages and, it, and it's like on a one-way motor system so you're yeah, not so over straining the, the brushes so, so the it? lights are not just lights there's some sort of sensor in there so it knows when you're going forwards and backwards yeah it's uh right right there you are so again when we do a product review uh Sandra doesn't say this but i always say i tend to only take a review on of a product that I think will be of interest to you or that we may use ourselves. Or in this case, it's hoping that the wife will use it. <laughs> well, you've not stopped. You've not, we're, we're all packed up and gone and like, where's Sandra? And all I can hear is, is this, 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 this vacuum cleaner going. Anyway, we have a poster at the bottom of our stairs and it says, no fear. Don't let your fears stand in the way of your dreams. I don't think we've ever shown that, haven't we? What's that got to do with vacuuming? I've got no idea because I don't want me film down here. You can't even see out there. It's like a, a cannabis plant going. Oh, hang on, let's give us... A, a, my lemon-scented uh, geranium. Uh, uh, his, Come yeah. on. Anybody that's green fingers has got to admire my lemon-scented geranium. Should, should we give out a, a, a quick shout-out to this, this, this person here? So, hello to Sarah. You have a card coming in a post soon. I'm a sticker. Instagram. Yep, so we're still doing those. Um, if you want one, um, there's a link in the description. If you want to order a campsite warden sticker off us, we'll send you a Christmas card. And again, I think it's two pounds, um, uh, with which 36 pence it goes in PayPal charges. And it's one pound 25 for a stamp. And you've got the price of the Christmas card, it's 40p for a sticker. So we're actually losing money doing this, I think. It's uh, anyway, it doesn't really matter. We'll it's get not a, about the money, dear. It's not. We'll get a Christmas card off us and a, and a free sticker. Bargains in the basement, Sandra. Bargains in the basement. This is this is embarrassing, Sandra. Come and sit here. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Well, it's not embarrassing, but it's, I'm just genuinely. <laughs> oh, my this God. Is why I was <gasps> keen to back him with or without the new one. Oh, look at that. And that's the Henry's not picked that up. And the Henry's meant to be... Whoa. <sighs> My melee was better than your Henry. Your melee's not as good as this one. Right. Let's it was, think it was good. Think about jobs to do. I've got another couple of things and it's getting right, dark. Right, so we've just double bagged some of the rubbish after a lady rummaging through it all. So I've got a local licensed uh, mobile rubbish remover. He's going to give me a quote. But we're down to 23 bags there of bagged rubbish. That's all loose stuff. That's, the, God, that's Sandra's bird bath. It's a bit... Anyway, that goes there. And then this little plastic store and all of these gardening items and possibly some things in here, possibly. Um, a local school have contacted us for their allotment society. Um, in fact, you know, so I'm going to have a word with Sandra about that herb garden. Hang on a minute. Let, let me have, have a word with Sandra about right, the herb sorry. garden. So we were going to try and gift this to somebody. Um, but what we'll do is when Sandra's herb garden, love the grumpy husband. So all being well, what we'll do with that herb garden, if this school wants it, we'll let the, uh, we'll let the school take that. They'll get some use out of that. So that's, right. so that's the... Um, so tired. 
name of it. No good telling that's me. The, that's the horseradish. That I think is labelled as a bit faint. Don't know. Maybe, maybe if you oh, get no. if you get a chance, try and re relabel them. Yeah, I've packed my labels, dear, because somebody wanted me to pack everything. Right, it'll be fine. Uh, it, it might come back to me. That's some kind of mint thing. Right, so we might I might see them and gift that to them, and then that's just another stuff out of the way. Right, I need to get a WhatsApp message over to these uh, these waste people. Uh, I'm super impressed with my hedge, Sandra. So you won't have a clue what I'm on about. Um, so we used to have a, a wooden fence down here and I planted this, is it three years in January, this one? Or two years? This one's filling the gap at the end. Right, well that's now, look at, look at that waistline, that's a proper good old fashioned hedge. That's taken two, two or three years and then in January just gone, oh, can't get down here, we planted this run. Um, so in another two years, all being well, that'll take. Uh, but I'm really impressed with that. That's um, yeah, yeah. Look at that. So that just used to be just a, a fence panel. We've gone back to a good old-fashioned hedge for the wildlife and the bird. Uh, there's a big cherry tree. We normally have Christmas lights on that, and a beautiful mature holly. That holly is worth about two and a half, three grand. Right, we're going to finish this. Are you? You? It's a bit grim out there, isn't it, Sandra? It's. Raining cats and dogs. Woof! Meow. There's a very strong wind. Woof! Meow. So, I'm a bit soaking wet head to toe. How's that coat? I got I got that when I was working at Dolbury. It's very really good. I'm dry inside, but I wish I put something on my legs, which are now soaking wet. Yeah, no, yeah. So, Not too good, is it? Right. Anyway, so should we should we give our our daily thing a go? Because we sort of had an experiment before, didn't we? Well, I haven't checked oh, the contents, to be fair. No, hold the box there one second. I need to hold that there. Right, okay. All right, so I'm going to go out a bit further. Right, I'll, hold, I'll hold the box. So pick a, pick a cracker. Pick a cracker. Pick a cracker. This, this, is, this is new, isn't it? This is Nobody else is doing this, is it? Right, just a I, cracker or a cracker in a. No, no, we to, we'll do we'll do the challenge in a minute. We'll 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 do the we'll do the joke first. Right, you ready? Give it a pull. Oh, oh! There you go. There. There's smoke coming off. Those of us a certain age, you remember caps when they like old cap gun, and then the smell of caps. You remember the smell of caps? No. Oh, you could say that real like smell of. Cowboys and Indians. You're not allowed to say cowboys and Indians anymore. Too oh, woke. That's Neil Taylor. No, you can't. You I don't, don't know anybody apart from Neil Taylor that moans about things like that. Seriously. You don't even get John Wayne on television anymore, do you? So, oh. It's, um What is it? Connect the dots. Join the dots and colour in. We could do that. So this is, oh, I'll wrap it up for as a Christmas present, Sandra. And I'm not too sure what's happened to the elf here. I think he's, the elf's throwing up. He's not looking very well. Right. We're going for a bit of orange. I, orange, I quite, orange has become my new colour, you know. I never really, there's always a red, red and black person. Right, come on, so give us a, give, give us a joke. a joke? Because I've got, not got my glasses on. Okay. Merry Christmas. What's black and white and noisy? A zebra? What's black and white and noisy? A zebra with a drum kit! Boom boom! Hey! Right, come on. Let's have a let's have a let's let's have a truth or dare, won't you? Come on. So who's picking and who's? I'm I'm never doing it. It's all yours, isn't it? You're 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 the winner. You're special. You're special, well, Sandra. Well, the answer's most likely to be like, I don't know, or I've never done that. Or something. You're going to pick it out and then you're going to go, I can't go. read it because I've not got my glasses. Exactly. <laughs> Do you want me to read it for you? Only if it's not too racy. Too racy? Yeah. There used to be a band called Racy. There was a band called Racy, wasn't there? Did they sing, Some Girls Do, Some Girls Don't, Some Girls Do a Lot of Giving, and Some. Some Do. Was that Racy? Some Girls Do. Right. Know. 
<laughs> and I know the answer to this. Do I, though? <laughs> you will do. What app do you waste the most time on, Sandra? <laughs> Does it begin with an F? And end in a K, by any chance? Go on. Don't, don't, don't tell me. You, our, our viewers out there, our watchers want to know, what, what time do you spend most on? What app? Well, we were talking about this last night, weren't we? It's like, we need to do less doom scrolling in, in, in 24. You're waffling. We want the answer to the question. Facebook. Facebook. And going back several years, when, we, when you very first got a smartphone, what used to be the app that you used to spend way too much time on well, it wasn't even on a smartphone i didn't even you, have one by then you, you got quite addicted to it didn't you it wasn't on a smartphone though I okay don't remember. Give me what keep on what was it on pc what was it who remembers farmville i never ever ever went on farmville yeah but you don't like gardening either those of a certain age <laughs> And you were too old for Farmville. It was for, it was for young people. Yeah, it was a busy family, demanding husband. I like my gardening. So it's like the closest I got to growing things at the time. Well, what happens if, if... Look, Mary out there and Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> what? I just come up with two random names. I thought Mary and Joseph. Well, there'll be a Joseph watching and there'll be a Mary and a Georgina and a Jennifer and a Robert and a Michael. They've got no idea what Farmville is. Do you? Well, like a lot of these games, it was actually designed to keep you on as long as possible as a game. You had a certain time frame to finish growing whatever crop it was and stuff. So it was a virtual farm. It became farm. clear after a while. It's like, uh, this is just... Going to nowhere, just, just stop. Yeah. It was a virtual farm, and you you yeah. end up having to become your, like the farmer, but you become but you obsessed by it. Acquire more land and more stuff and more farming. So it was fun, but it was just set to be way too demanding. Like once you start bringing in time limits to do stuff, it's like no. But you're getting up early in the morning to go and feed your sheep and water your lettuce and tend to your crops, and it wasn't real, Sandra. It was fun. But you had a Tamagotchi, didn't you? Sorry, but more fun than, sorry, small children and demanding husband at the time. Sorry. I was in B&M's yesterday buying some crap and they got something called a virtual pet. And I picked it up. I thought, oh, that's could be interesting. I picked it up. And you know what they're selling in B&M's? Tamagotchis. Did you have a Tamagotchi? Should we let Rasha out? I think we should do. I'd, I'd let her in, even. I think she's been out. Do you want to say to her? Oh, is that it? I think so, yeah. Okay. So, right, I'm just off to let Rasha in. Speak soon. Because she's been out. That's and come in. What? Been out and come in. Yeah. But right. she's still stuck in the kitchen. If you get that, let us know. Ta-ra. Mm -hmm.